Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunterman, and this is more of the First Contact DLC, my first couple of sittings with it. This recording has already been in progress, so I'm just going to drop you right in. The war. I'm sorry, what? Uh, has, okay. The allied Thorquit nations has declared war on the Heffron Enterprises, whose independence we have guaranteed. I'm sorry? I didn't guarantee any independence. You just mean we have a defensive pact. Consequently, we are now at war with the allied Thorquit nations. Who? I can't get there from here. <laughs> like, all right. Um, hey, one, two, three, four. They have declared war. What are your wants? Oh, you've made the neighboring nation a bulwark situation. Everybody else is vassalized to you? No, no, no. You're you're in an actual allyship with the uh, the guys they're su surrounding. All right. Well, guys, looks like we're looking at some war exhaustion going on. We're about to get another update on the organic singularity, which may or may not have been a good call. We'll see what happens. Inter interface with the nodal cons. Consciousness of that Dragon 2 is reaching a saturation point. All bureaucratic decisions have been delegated to the organic hive mind and are resulting in nothing short of, of spectacular. The planet's economy is booming, and the people have achieved a standard of life that would have been unthinkable even a generation ago. Yay, tentatively? Increase awareness by 10. Uh, hi. So you have low awareness in the Bronze Age. Special project complete. The Bowel Organism. Uh oh, Voyager arrived. Uh, Grunner distress signal to its source, uncovering a crumbling Grunner research facility hanging in orbit of an otherwise long abandoned planet. The facility is reaching a critical energy failure. Having survived for millions of years on an extensive network of solar panels and decaying auto repair systems, all of which now appear to be approaching terminal status. Shockingly enough, scans of the facility reveal the presence of a single life form. The crew have d dispatched an away team and are ready to report. The event, the last bow happens. The last bow. Deep in the dilapidated ruins of the time worn Grunar research facility, among the long-defunct computer panels and deteriorated research equipment, our ship's crew has made an incredible find. Pin cushions, pin cushioned by nutrient tubes and critically failing life support systems lies one single organism, the last bow, miraculously still alive, surrounded by the sludgy remains of other specimens in a row of cracked and leaking vats. Owing to our extensive previous archaeological studies of the specimen, we should be able to attempt communication with this last specimen. Then let us try. A visitor? Can it be? The bow shudders in the vat. But you are not the ones who put us here. Though you come as alarm sound, as alarm sound, have you come to give us peace at last? Let's see, our options are perhaps, but first a few questions, or... We will help you any way we can. I mean... Seems like a torturous existence. But the questions shouldn't end it. The bow is silent for long moments before finally replying, Thank you, we had forgotten the sound of kindness. Arsh! We had a few questions. The bow is silent for several minutes, then ask. We have waited millennia. We can endure a moment more. Tell us about yourself. 
What happened? Would you like to join us? What happened? Again, the bow was long silent before managing a reply. When the burners came, entire colonies were silenced before the danger was known to us. Like a limb gone limp, nerves cut suddenly and totally at the base. And then we lost the next, and the next, and the next. One by one, their voices left the chorus. We lost our others. Their silence deafened us who remained. Can you understand, visitor? We could not bear to hear any more agony. The burners were swift, like you, swifter. And before we could withdraw, they had set us all aflame, all burnt to ash, the air filled with that gray agony, the dust of our loss. Tell us about yourself. Long minutes pass before the bell responds. Ourself? Ourself. Yes. What is there to tell? We sat beneath the stars on soft earth, unfurled our leaves like sails to the sun overhead. We remember every drop of water that quenched them in the parched summers, every shivering horror that blanketed them in the winters. We bent in the wind as the stars wheeled overhead. We were, we were uprooted, we were burned, we were sliced, we were left here. We watched our others rot in their glass prisons. Would you like to join us? A sort of shivering runs through the bellow. You have distinct impression it is laughing. No, we have lived too long in this wretched state. Now we long only for an end. Though first, would you tell us? We have been sealed here for so long, blind to all but this room, watching the stale air slowly wear the station down to its metal bones. Tell us, does our kind yet live? In a sense, though they are no longer sapient, or are we having the time for this pull the plug? No, 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 just tell them what happened. No longer sapient. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the leaves of the last bellows shrivel in themselves just a little more. Perhaps, perhaps that is best. The machine pumping mysterious fluids in and out of the creature's body begins to sputter and hiss. It is clearly on its last mechanical gasp and the bow will perish without it. Silence, yes. At last it approaches. We welcome it, as our brethren did so long ago. Farewell, Sexer Lupian. May your kin endure less agony in this world. Farewell. The last bow is an artifact I can activate? I don't remember that. Well, I'm sure it's been there before, though. Granting the ability to turn one... A communal non-hive world, non-machine world, planet into a Gaia world? Who? That's amazing. That's amazing. That's so good. Um, holy, holy balls. Um, survey the system and get a construction ship over their stat. Wow. Awesome. Hmm. Well, future Hunter Moon probably split this into two episodes at this point. This is going a little longer than expected. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a war happening, isn't there? But I'm not really in it. It is over here, though. Anomaly found. Anomaly found? Oh, over here. And atmospheric readings from Grunar 4A do not match simulated projections. Research. Spaceborne life form encountered. Okay. Um, what is my biggest planet that isn't my home world? Um, do, 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 planets and sectors. 10, 10, 17, 15, 20. 
No, 20 is the home world. 20 is also Molly. Gaffer. Okay. Uh, Gaffer is here. BTF? What did that... Wait, what did that... What did that do? Why is my nickname in your game? Because I'm naming planets after people who showed up on stream. And you showed up on stream. I think you were the first person to show up on stream. I don't know what I activated where. Uh, unless you don't want to be complete. named. Because I, I could undo it. Agent refinery. Equipment is efficient rate 100%. Oh, right. Naval capacity would be excellent right about now. Can't afford another cruiser. Wait, my cruisers require artifacts? Wait, what? Did it turn one of my worlds into a Gaia world randomly? What world did it do? Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Gronar's face. They are not cast are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Gangway is yet unwilling to say whether these are flora or fauna, or what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might have, might serve. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't know what that. Did it do it somewhere in the universe? Our work to promote the singularity on Dragon Two is already paying dividends. By now, the planet is almost entirely networked, with much of the day-to-day decision-making given over to the nodal consciousness. However, in an effort to streamline process, certain basic amenities have been eliminated. And it's growing increasingly clear to the planet's people that their molluscan machine may have its own designs. It was inevitable. Oops. Yeah, kind of thought that was going to happen. Maybe we'll just make this one long episode. I mean, it's it's not unheard of for them to go this long. Okay. Um... How are we doing on the... Okay. Oh, we're researching the... Okay, we're researching the Star Fortress. How close are we to having a white name on this? Not that close. Oh, no, kind of close. Communion. Click. The singularity has dawned on Dragon 2. 
Within hours of its ascension, the hive mind absorbed more than 90% of the planet's population, and a few individuals who remain are already begin being hunted down. We stand witness to the birth of a singular consciousness. Excellent. You know what? Feeling a little guilty now. The society has been converted into a hive mind. Oh, you, that's how you met hunted? Oh, you met converted. That's not the same thing as necessarily hunting them down. Uh, gain progress towards insight technology, engineering research gain, and concludes the organic singularity situation. Uh, are you... You have low awareness of us, and you're still in the Bronze Age, but you're now a ravenous hive? Oh, dear. Um... System survey complete. Wait, that's not even the end of it. System survey complete, I heard that. Uh, you need to be building a colony ship with Sector Lupians on it. And then after that, we need to build cruiser. We need to increase the military strength. Oh, that's going to be one out of collection range. That is unfortunate. <laughs> nah, it looks like I'm going to split this in two. I am tied for first place with my allies. <laughs> How are they doing over here? Construction complete. What are you guys? Unknown origin. Wait. You got the little atomic symbol, though. some of these observation insights. Need another Corvette. I need another cruiser. What's this one? Oh, wait. That's the starting one I didn't delete, isn't it? Require, oh, they require relics to build. That's interesting. So, minor artifacts is... Wow, I'm making good minor artifacts, though. Um, wait, huh, I'm sorry. Crime? No, 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 no. We're not doing crime. Yeah, um, no. You're going to get a boot to the head. Drug problem, I can ignore, but we're not doing crime. Crime is not happening. That is a no-no. None of that. Shame on you. Okay, we should now be able to take this system. But I think that would be ill-advised to do when we could theoretically be contributing to the war. I don't know. Uh... Oh, your fleets aren't that big. All right. You've talked me into it. Okay. 
Now let's check and see who can move the fastest. Okay, so we need... The fleet called New Ships needs to be following the other ones. New Ships is 1-7. So, they need to be following this one. Can I even get over here to help? One K, we can take a one K. All right, I'm gonna send those guys on their way. Oh, I need to move this colony ship to here. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on, is it a decision? Maybe it's a decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turns the planet into a Gaia world by deploying gene-tailored plant life injected with the bowel ability or organic terraforming. Wait, so I can just terraform every 10 years? All right, we're terraforming Gaffer. What could possibly go wrong? However, I need to... I don't think I have a place to put on this colony ship. Is there a planet in this system? No. Oops. How much do you cost me to exist? 0.78? Alright. It's gonna suck to just have a colony ship hanging out, but... What can you offer us? Orbital trash? Nope. Hey! Robots! Um, nobody else has shown up, so... I don't know who to name this colony after. Well, Gaffer's still here. Let's go FX. Makes sense, because it's robots. Oh! Wait, the hive mind finished? Did it did it kill them? Comet sighted. Slither object was Pronounced gaseous and particulate traits were observed in the Sexar system. It was pass passing was uneventful. Wait. No, hold on. No, they were. S hold on. Okay, feudal realms. I have mine. Oh god, I made a devouring swarm. That's not okay. I can't diplomacy with a devouring swarm.
Hopefully you don't get killed. Increase awareness. Spread disinformation. Plan advanced knowledge. Lack of gene talent will make it harder for our agents to disguise themselves as locals. Oh! Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Can't move for another 360 days? Oh, I might have just sent an envoy to their death. How fun. Um, let's see if that happens immediately. Let me unpause. Spy network established, and then I think they died. No, that was a scientist. First clandestine report from the spy. <laughs> look, look at how much he doesn't look like the surrounding. That's great. This marks the foundation of our first spy network within a world still unaware of alien life. Incredible opportunity to study a pre-FTL society and steer it more prosperous direction. We just have to be careful not to reveal our true nature until they are ready. We cannot risk destabilizing their society. Yeah, um, about that. I didn't see the clicky click, so... I need to get this person out of here in 360 days. That's hilarious. Oh, Cody's got a, um, upgrade. Spy network is listed as challenging, I just noticed. Oh shit, hold on, scientist is dead. Need to diversify. I don't think we met the mandate. They're a hive mind. How is how is how are you even here? I didn't understand how this mechanic worked. And it's going to be an ass bite in a second. Following the recent sweep of leather system, Admiral just has learned how to deploy units to maximize sensor range. Oh right. New new aliens? Uh, where is my crew? Here they are. As far as Alpha's mandate, production has improved. I don't remember production being the thing, but we did it. Self-congratulatory, we did the thing. I need to get you off of this planet. I think I'll open up a spy network over here. You have some spying experience. How are you doing this? Uh, build ship speed is increased by 33%. Ship rate of fire is increased research by 15%. Complete. Which research is complete? Star Fortress. Beautiful. Beautiful. Whoa, reduced time spent missing in action? And that's almost done. That's beautiful. Let's do that. And we'll get all towards another envoy. Um, what was I doing? Oh, so I can now pick up the bulwark situation. Eternal vigilance. Starbase damage increase. Starbase hull points increase. Defensive platform damage and cap increase. That's how I roll. Archeo engineers. Archeo weapons deal 33% more damage. You know what? Let's do it. I don't know if that's going to be achievement unlocked, but let's do it. We do have some of those weapons. Never picked that a, a situation before. Have a network of at least 30 hyper relays? Nope, that, that's not recent. Okay, refugees arrive on Molly. They're welcome here. 10 intel on the Ebusium Imperial States. 
Okay. I just don't want him to die. Not that any envoy dying is permanent. Like, you, you get him replaced basically instantly. Research complete. Cruiser build speed and cost reduction? We do need the ion thrusters. Professor sublight speed. Our ships are almost on the front lines. Who died? We have another genius. You need to come over here. You just need a scientist. Just keep going, just keep going. Counter Miranda? Mindara. Okay. Okay, you can be moved. Let's... I think we're gonna have to gank that hive mine, but we can put that off for a while. Because they can't be assimilated. Like, I can't make nice with them. Alright. You know what? So we we rescued the future. Um, these guys are... Peaceful egalitarians? Well, that's unfortunate. I can't claim on that, can I? Do not claim a system claimed by a war ally. Alright, well. Before we jump into this system. How did they get higher level? Uh, we are going to go ahead and cliffhanger here. Uh, I assume that what I've just been recording is two episodes. But we'll see what happens. For anybody who's watching later on YouTube, I would like to thank you for watching. This has been Stellaris with the First Contact DLC. I've been Hunter Munn, and when next we return, I guess we're going to try and do a little bit of war because it doesn't look like, like, I guess we're doing well. And if we help the Allies end the war, then the war will be ended. So yeah, maybe we'll get more refugees. Alright. Later.